We do talk a lot here on the now about the spike in car burglaries in our area. I don't remember us starting our newscast ever with the theft of tires, but this next story promises to get your attention for sure because of these tires that have been stolen and who they were stolen from. The now's John Shaman live for us and Stuart this afternoon to show and tell us all about it. John. Well, Shannon, this is where the engineering department in Martin County parks its vehicles. You can see these are big trucks here, but look, something's missing, the tires. In fact, detectives working this case say the crooks here must have known what they were doing. 18 tires taken in all. In 15 years working for Martin County. This is my first time. Jim Gordon had never seen this. It's disappointing. He and dozens of co-workers arrived at work Monday before sunrise as usual. So at first, no one noticed anything was wrong. The sun came up and... We found that um, six of our trucks had the tires stolen from them. The tires not missing from the many pickups on the property. Heavy trucks and the tire size is um, consistent with what would be used on tractor trailers. Six of the 22 heavy vehicles in the fleet targeted. All of these vehicles go out on a daily basis. So work crews had to be reassigned. The crooks cut a hole in the chain link fence. They deflated the tires before removing them. They, they cut the fence and carried the tires through the fence and they, um, it looked like they were staging them there and then loading them into a separate vehicle at that point. And it wasn't just tires taken from the yard. The lock was cut on a trailer similar to this one. A pole saw and a blower were taken. The total cost of the theft, $25,000. The hope is to have new tires in place tomorrow. But we're just going to move on and uh, try to get back to normal business. Now, of the 18 tires that went missing, three of them were actually recovered this morning just on the other side of the front gate. It looked like, uh, according to the crews here, that they may have been trying to hide them. Now, the Martin County Sheriff's Office is looking at surveillance video in an effort to identify the thieves. We're live in Martin County. I'm John Shaman for the Now South Florida.